Hello, everybody. Welcome to week four. This is your seed activity, and we are sticking with our theme from Have You Filled a Bucket Today? Uh, if you haven't listened to the book yet, that's in our ELA activity, so you can start there if you want. That'll make a little bit more sense for your seed activity. If you've already read the book, you can continue watching. But if you haven't, I would like you to just go over to the ELA so that you can listen to the book and this will make a little bit more sense. I'm going to continue on. If you want to pause and go listen to the book, have at it. If you are already done that, then I will show you what your activity is. Our activity for this week, what I think would be a cool idea is I gave you a little weekly chart. So more of this is about doing something. Um, not the writing aspect of it. This is just to keep a little record. You don't have to, this is this to me, you don't have to do complete sentences. You can if you want, it's a really good practice for you. It's a really good idea to always practice complete sentences and capitalizing uh, first words of sentences and punctuation and trying to work on your handwriting and your spelling. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not a requirement for this. So what we're doing with this is I have a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday chart here. Now that doesn't mean you have to, you don't have to do good deeds on the weekend or do nice things for people on the weekend. But what I want you to do is I want you every day, every time that you either see somebody do a nice deed for somebody or a nice thing for somebody, or you do something nice for somebody or somebody does something nice for you. I want you to make a note of it here so you can print this out or you can start your own. You can make your own little chart and I want you to write down ways that people either filled your bucket, and I only have today, I filled a bucket by. But you can also write down ways that people filled your bucket. So filling a bucket is doing a nice thing for somebody, just maybe even smiling at them, holding the door open, giving them a compliment. Um, anything that doesn't take away from how they feel or make them sad, because taking away is, is, is emptying a bucket or dipping into somebody's el somebody else's bucket, and that's not something that we want to do. So. This is your activity. The whole week, your job is to try to figure out a way that you can fill somebody else's bucket every day. And not just one time. See if you can fill people's buckets all day. So think of ways that you could do something nice for somebody else. Think of what you saw in the book. Let's see. Let's go back here. Think of what you saw in the book and some ways that buckets were filled in the book. And think of those things. And then... I want you to keep track of the ways that you fill buckets. So you can get, you can send me five Flipgrid videos this week if you want, or you can send me one on Friday uh, about ways that you filled buckets this week. If you want to give me an update every every evening and say, Mr. A, today I filled a bucket by going to the grocery store with my mom when she was lonely and didn't you know want to go, or I went out for a walk with my family and held the door open for somebody. So any little thing that you think would fill somebody's bucket, I want you to write down and let me know. And let me know how it made you feel too. Let me know how it made you feel and let me know how it made the other person feel. So normally you'll be able to see how it made them feel. They'll probably have a smile on your face if you do something nice for them. So that is your seed activity for this week. I look forward to hearing everything, every way that you filled somebody else's bucket. And I hope you have an awesome week. Bye guys.